every city in Europe and around the world, to be honest, is making the biggest shift that we've seen literally since the uh, car replaced the horse and carriage. I mean, uh, we're going from a petrol field to electric in every city. Every city is making it more pedestrian friendly and more uh, cycle friendly, and we're getting cars out of the city. But there's one big problem. The infrastructure is not prepared for it. I mean, for EVs, it's not a problem. I mean, it's already on EU level that they have like 3 million parking uh, spots, public parking spots uh, lined up for charging before 2030. For smaller EVs, light ele electric vehicles, there's literally no plan at all. So um, that's the gap we're looking to fill. And I mean, the need for transportation is not going to change in the city. We have the same amount of people. They're making the same trips. We just want to change the mode of transportation. So our North Star is making inner cities more friendly to micromobility and getting to make that happen, you are going to have to have a universal charging network where these can charge. I mean, look at everybody just says like, oh, look at Paris. They banned the e-scooters. Yes, they banned the e-scooters, but they instead they gave place for bikes, e-bikes. Mm -hmm. You have the same operators making more trips than the e-scooters were making than they were there. I mean, really the mode, if it's an e-scooter, if it's an e-bike, if it's a pod, wherever it may be, how you get around town, it is going to have to be charged. And that's the gap we're looking to fill. Yeah, 